our new vice chairman, and I want to congratulate him as well. Mr. Speaker, President Biden consistently has stated that he never discussed businesses with Hunter Biden's associates. That is a lie. Let me repeat that for even for the colleagues across the aisle. It is a lie. Throughout our extensive investigation and from the lips of credible witnesses, it is abundantly clear that the Biden family business is Joe Biden. Let me emphasize, there is no Biden family business except for Joe Biden's 40 plus year career in Washington, D.C. That has been the family business. As a member of the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability, we have followed the paper trail, we've conducted our investigation by the book, we have discovered damning evidence, and we continue to do so every day. Our investigation has led to some alarming and eye-opening findings, which point to the President's knowledge and involvement in illegal business transactions. For example, in 2018, James Biden, the president's brother, received $600,000 in a loan from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed, failing rural hospital operator. Bankruptcy court documents suggested that James Biden received these loans based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors in the Middle East based on his political connections. Now, we all know James Biden doesn't have political connections. Joe Biden, his brother, has political connections. Specifically, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into the account of James and Sarah Biden. Here's what makes the evidence damning. On the same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from the same account addressed to his brother, Joe Biden. And for the American people, the brother of James Biden is the President of the United States. Next example is an email obtained by the committee from a Hunter Biden associate, mentioning that 10% of the relevant joint venture that held by Hunter for the big guy, 10% of a, of a relevant joint venture was held for the big guy. At this point in the committee's investigation, we've established that Joe Biden is the big guy through the web of transactions that purposefully tried to hide the big guy's involvement, let me stress again that Joe Biden is the Biden family business. Let me illustrate an example of the confusing web of transactions. A Chinese company sent $5 million to a joint venture between Hunter and an associate. That same day, the joint venture sent $400,000 to an entity that Hunter Biden controls alone. Less than a week later, Hunter Biden wired $150,000 from this entity to a company owned by James Biden and Sarah Biden, James Biden, the president's brother. Sarah Biden later withdrew $50,000 thousand dollars from the same company. Less than a week later, Sarah wrote a personal check to Joe Biden, aka the big guy, aka the president of the United States, for forty thousand dollars. Ten percent of the four hundred thousand that was mentioned in the email by the associate to Hunter Biden. So the Republicans have the evidence, they have the receipts, they have the whistleblowers, they have everything they need to impeach and then indict Joe Biden. You know what they don't have? A backbone. They don't got the cojones. They rather remove Santos, one of their own, than go after a Democrat. Marjorie Taylor Greene trying to impeach Mayorkas is a great example. But at least here's what we do know. That we got a couple at least that want to stand up for the country and speak the truth and impeach Joe. And at least the rest of the country gets to see what kind of criminals the far-left extremists really are.